Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 11th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and if you like the weather this past week because of the cold, I think you're going to like what's ahead. The Skycam Network this morning shows uh, the towers over Red Mountain, as uh, we look out from the Birmingham site, and I always enjoy the shot of the Fayette County Courthouse from Fayette. Surface system is uh, moving through the central plains, and that will be uh, reinforced by the upper trough, which you can see over uh, Nebraska and Kansas this morning, and that is going to be diving into the southeastern U.S. and bringing a really strong northwesterly fetch our direction. And when it does, you can see what kind of air it's coming from. Single-digit values uh, dipping down into the north-central United States and some minus values as well up there. So this is extremely cold air, and this will be some of the coldest air we've seen, not only for this fall, but actually for this whole year so be watching for that and especially some problems on Sunday we'll talk about that in a minute temperatures this morning across central Alabama have moderated nicely uh, with uh, the clouds increasing we're uh, seeing temperatures generally in the 40s uh, across much of central Alabama east central Alabama just a little bit chillier clouds increasing ahead of this next system and we do have some rain in the mid-south stretching from the St. Louis area down to uh, uh, just north of uh, Jackson, Mississippi. And this weather system creating a great deal of havoc across the entire central United States, and uh, that will be bringing more havoc over into the uh, eastern part of the country during the next uh, couple of days. QPFY-wise, how much rain are we looking at? Well, we're looking at probably around a half to one inch max for most uh, uh, locations and storm prediction center is out looking a small area uh, well it includes uh, two-thirds of mississippi and parts of arkansas and louisiana it does not include any part of alabama uh, but they're looking at the possibility it'll be marginal and there's some big ifs in there but uh, this is going to be one of those low top situations with damaging wind uh, is going to be the main threat along with uh, the possibility of uh, some weak uh, tornadoes. All right, here's the 060 GFS model run, and we're going to kind of dive into this. Uh, here's uh, the conditions uh, with the rain approaching northwest Alabama by noontime. Uh, if we go to midnight, you can see that uh, trough digging in and closing off as it uh, comes down across uh, St. Louis and closes off. This is, again, midnight, and this is the surface map at midnight. And here's the, here's the big problem, and that is you notice that the thicknesses are right behind the rain or right with the rain, so we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping pretty dramatically with this front while the rain is still going on. And what that means is we could have some... Uh, Interesting situations with black ice possibilities early Sunday morning. That is, the cold air is going to get in here and probably kind of north of Birmingham and maybe even kind of use 59, I-59 as, uh, as the breaking point there. And uh, you can also see that uh, at the 850 level, the zero-degree isotherm is getting in there uh, pretty close as well. So uh, by Sunday morning, by the time we get up and head for church and whatever uh, our activities are Sunday morning, that black ice could be an issue. So just keep that in mind. Uh, on uh, Sunday at noon, the closed low has uh, dived into the Ohio River Valley, and you can see that fetch coming from way up there in northwestern Canada. And, of course, uh, you notice the 540 line almost to Mobile, or actually it is to Mobile. And uh, so very, very cold and some wraparound moisture as well. The possibility maybe that we might even see some snow flurries uh, uh, again on, uh, on Sunday. On Monday, the, the closed low is r really uh, big, uh, covering a good portion of the eastern part of the country with that northwesterly fetch. So that's keeping us cold. Also looking like it could produce a freeze down into Florida with some more wraparound moisture, probably giving some snow to the Rocky Mountains. By Tuesday, uh, we're beginning to show signs of a little bit of moderation, but that's going to be one of our colder mornings. And then uh, with the afternoon highs moderating a little bit, we'll at least get above the freezing mark. We become uh, more under a ridge by Wednesday, so we do moderate slightly, but uh, as the surface high moves off to the east, we see moisture returning ahead of the next system, and that moisture gets in here, but with a nearly zonal flow, 
It looks like just a chance for showers. That zonal flow stays with us on Friday, and so we stay with kind of a chance for showers. And I, I think this is going to be isolated to, you know, maybe scattered at most, so we're not looking at a major uh, rain event. We're now watching the next system getting ready to come in uh, on the West Coast on uh, Saturday. And then, uh, once again, it uh, looks like we stay dry on Saturday, but we're getting ready for that next system. And looking out into voodoo country, here comes that next system. Uh, so we stay fairly dry, it looks like, through the 23rd. And then, finally, on the 26th, look at that. My goodness, another wet, cold event. So we certainly have some interesting weather ahead of us. Do keep this uh, black ice possibility in mind because it could create some uh, serious uh, travel issues. Uh, they're not going to be widespread, but uh, especially uh, if you kind of use uh, I-59 as the demarcation point, uh, kind of uh, north and northwest of the Birmingham area. Just keep that in mind if you have plans for Sunday morning. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted around 8 o'clock by, by, uh, on Sunday morning. So in the meantime, have a great Saturday. Enjoy the warmth because it's getting colder again. Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.